mic check. I make sure this mic right. Y'all know how it get. I done filmed the whole video talking and talking, and ain't no sound came out because I ain't checked the mic, and it wasn't even recording. The mic died. But I got everything charged up now. <laughs> we gonna jump straight into this video, y'all. Y'all know what it is. I'm back. I'm back on my recorded video every other day vibe. You know what I mean? So we gonna keep cooking. Last video I did, I showed y'all how to uh, do the camo vinyl and then how to make your own pattern, and basically just how to make your own vinyl, any color you want to make it. Print it out, puff or regular vinyl. You know what I mean? So that's what that was, but I haven't showed y'all a full color image, like just an image of something. So I got an image that I got to do for somebody. It's like a girl. It's going to go on the shirt, like a silhouette of a girl, and it's going to be real big, but it's a full color image. So I'm going to print that on this shirt in this video and just show y'all how I look with the puff. And honestly, it's something different because I got to put it on the seam of the bottom. So this really risky. You know what I mean? I'm about to try it. The worst case scenario, if I mess up, I can uh, replace somebody's shirt, but we ain't going to do that. We ain't going to do no messing up. You know what I mean? I, I I'm a professional. I be getting it right. You know what I mean? And I always come in. That's why they trust me. So we're going to jump right into it, man. He said, let's see, can we do it? We're going to run it in puff. And if it come out like I think it's going to come out, he's going to love it. He's going to make some money. We're going to make some money. <laughs> That's what it is. And y'all get to learn something and see something new too. So I'm going to print out a 13 by 19 sheet. I already got the sheet cut down how I want it. So this is the puff vinyl. This is my last sheet, bro. Sadly, my last sheet is going away to a sample. But I got to confirm this design, and I got like a 10-yard roll on the way. Link in the description if you want to buy some. I don't promote them for, because I get paid. I'm just telling y'all where to get it. Hopefully one day I will get something like a discount or something off from them. I don't know. You know what I mean? But I don't get that off of it. That's where you get the buying of y'all know on my sharing because I'm creative, and I ain't worrying about nobody doing nothing like me, copying me, or competing with me, or none of that. Hit the link in the description if you want to buy that puff vinyl or all type of other fire vinyl that's on their site. So, yeah, we're going to jump right into it. We're going to print the image out. Once the image print out, we're just going to hit it with the puff. And then I want y'all to see what it looked like. And, yeah, that's what it is, man. Nothing too major. Actually, it's going to be something simple today. Quick video, like I said. This might be my fast video yet. <laughs> if you've been watching my videos from the beginning, you know I say that damn near almost every video. And they do not be quick, bro. But, yeah, that's what it is, man. Let's jump into it. Sit it up here and let it dry. You know what I mean? Let that hover over. Mine don't hover though, so I just gotta pull it down some. You know what I mean? Let it dry on up. And we gonna press. Y'all see the beginning. This gonna be in puff. It's gonna be hard though. My only thing is making sure the bottom lined up right. So the shirts he picked are good quality, so I think we should be good. The shirts ain't all wrinkled up and crooked. You know, some of the collars on the shirt be crooked, some of the bottoms on the be crooked, but most of these are straight, like $10 tees, you know what I'm saying? So, we'll see how good this come out, y'all. Clean, though. Super clear. Like, this might be the clearest picture I done printed so far in the puff. Like, super clear. Just got to let the ink dry. That black ink be coming out heavy. But, yeah, once that dry out, we're going to go ahead and press it. I already got a shirt in here. We're going to see how this come out. Lay this on up here. Put it on this black tee. This is a large. I might need to do a medium. We're going to see, though. Matter of fact, I need to pull up his image because I got to show y'all the image of what he sent me so y'all can see exactly how it come to life. But yeah, we're going to do that. Is it dry? Let it dry a little bit longer. A little bit longer. All right, bet. Perfect. Heat press just now getting ready anyway. Okay, cool, y'all. Let's get it. So now I just got to trim all this way. And I'm not going because this bigger than the 12. So I got to get the I got to go and get the 15 inch pro cameo because my cameo can't even put this on the cut man. It's too big. So I'm going to use scissors, but I'm pretty good with the scissors. You know what I mean? And then I'm just going to slice this with the exact though and use a ruler. But for now, we good. This going to go at the bottom of this shirt like this. And yeah, we're going to see how it comes out. I think I'm going to do a medium though. I feel like I need to make uh make it a little bigger for the largest, but yeah, we're gonna fit we're gonna figure it out. All right, so I went in the went in there and got a small shirt because I like this size better for a small. I'm gonna finesse it and do like half and half 
when I get ready to do the bigger size and then I can make it even bigger. But for now, we're going to run this on this gray small and it's actually going to be clean. So that's what we're going to do, man. We're going to pick up the scissors and get to it, y'all. Trim this up right quick. All right, y'all bet. So look, this is how he wanted, right? So this gonna be on the seam of the bottom down here of the shirt. And it's gonna be just like this. And then on this side, it's gonna say originals. And on this side, it's gonna have like the rated R symbol or whatever. But I'm gonna show y'all what he sent me so y'all can see exactly how the mock-up was. Show y'all, you know how I bring it to life, man. I do what I do, the professional way, the heat way, way, create a nation way, you know what I'm saying? But we gonna go on and press this. I just really want to show y'all how this public is. Y'all gotta get into this for real. Tap into it, this the new wave. This is what's gonna take over. Let y'all know first if y'all ain't already seen it. You know what I mean? Let's get it. All right, so I already got it transferred up here. I put the padded pillow in there, and I got it right on the edge so that, you know, it's right where he want it, the closest possible. Then I know it's going to puff up a little bit, so I don't want it over the edge too close and it pop off. I'm going to put it a little back, so, you know. And then we're going to run that. So, look, I got it right along the edge. And then if it go over the edge a little bit, you know, we probably could trim with the scissors. I'm trying something right now. This is a sample. Worst case scenario, I replaced the shirt. So here it is. He go to press. Get ready. I ain't even put no transfer tape over it because I like the way that Puff hit without the transfer tape over it. But you can do both. I like both. But right now, if it's an image that I don't have to use, I try not to use it. So here we go. Let's see what this turned out to be. Here we go, y'all. Moment of truth. Woo! There it is. Oh, my God. Bro, that's crazy. Look at that puff. Look at that puff. So what I realize is my heat I ain't really getting the back because it's too close to the back. So I'm going to press it one more time. Quick, though. And then I'm going to lift it right up because I already know it's going to be puffed up quick. Yep, there we go. Just like I want it. Okay, here we go. Cool. Hold on. Hold on, y'all. It just got super real in here. Then flip the shirt on inside out. That's how hard that puff hit. Look at that. Look at that. 3D, bro. He gonna like this way better than that mock -up. He probably ain't even gonna care if they can't be as big as he want them to be when he see how this look. It's all good, though, because I'm finna get that new printer. I ain't been telling nobody, but I got some up my sleeves. We gonna be doing super big images in no time. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. So, well, here y'all go. Y'all get to see full color puff, full image puff. I went on the seam. It wrapped around a little bit, and then it came over a little bit. So, look at this. I'm going to trim this with the scissors. Then I'll press it one last time to make sure nothing's going to come up. But puff normally does good, and that's what it is. So, now I just got to add the text to the side. Don't, just, don't mind the Yeezys on the floor. It just kicked any kind of way. But we're going to add the text right here right quick. And we're going to send him a picture and see what he say. I already know what he's going to say. I'm going to show y'all the response, too. Before I end this video off, full color puff, full image puff, right out of this little Epson 13 by 19 print. I can't wait to print bigger stuff, but for now, you got to be grateful for what you do have. And that's why I try to do stuff like this to show y'all that, bro, don't be ashamed of your equipment. I don't care if it's the cheapest equipment you can find. If it worked, get the job done. Get the job done, man. Get the money and then level up and you'll have all the best. That's what I'm doing. I ain't got all the best, best, best stuff, but who's to say what's the best anyway? If it worked for you, it is the best. So that's what I'm doing. This hard, this puff, this full color. Let me go ahead and cut out the last little piece to finish this sample off. And then that's what it is, y'all. That image look crazy. Look how clear it is. Damn. All right, I'm going to stop. <laughs> Okay, cool. So we got that cut out nation. This the originals. This the art, the rated art that he wanted. The image is hard. He already confirmed the image. He loving that puff. I am too. I ain't gonna lie. This just inspired me to create something super, super dope. Like, I don't know what I'm gonna come up with, bro, but I'm finna come up with some hard. Like I got to. This this what I like. I like doing stuff like this that inspire me. This what he sent me. 
Mm -hmm. That's what he got. And then he didn't even want Puff. It was going to be regular, but you know, we always going to do some type of tweak. I always like to bless people with something extra. So that's it right there. That's hard. Like I can make this a little bigger, but for the most part, that's it. Yeah, I can make the originals a little bigger and the R a little bigger, but that's it though. We got it. Let's go. And the only thing I will say that I feel like I should have did now is I would have to put this on first, the R and this on first, because you got to heat this at a higher temperature than this. And you don't want to have to heat this too much where it messed it up. It's already clear and clean. So going further in this order, when I do the rest of them, because he got 20, I'm going to do this part first and then I'm going to come back and do this. But yeah, I'm going to take pictures of the full thing and then probably throw it in another video. But we're going to wrap this video on up after I go on and hit this. But I'm going to cut out one more set of originals and the R bigger and then that's it we're gonna press that right quick but he already confirmed this hard y'all this came out great so full color puff full color image puff link in the description like i said i don't make nothing off it just go shop i love sharing the knowledge sharing where you can get everything i ain't gonna hold it all to myself and yeah i'm just showing y'all what that puff do <laughs> so if y'all want to get on it get on it let's go so yeah i definitely will put the originals on there first y'all because you don't want to heat this too much but luckily it's on low heat so I know it ain't gonna really mess up too much, but yeah, I definitely will put that on there first because you really supposed to heat that regular white puff at 290. Or I would just do it all together. But either way, still coming out great. I know what I'm doing. That's why you gotta finesse it always. No matter what, I'm a finesse god. So it's gonna always work out. Puff, puff, puff. We good. Hey. We good now. Let's go. That's it. A1. This puffed up. Boom, boom, boom. This puffed up. Boom, boom, boom. It's on there. That's what he wanted. As y'all can see from the picture, man. The mock-up. It came to life. Yeah. Look at the puff, bro. y'all can see nation that came out perfect man he loved the sample it's a1 he already done confirmed it only thing i gotta do is make it bigger like i was just saying so that's it other than that it's good man i just wanted to let y'all know that i'm dropping the website technically it's already dropped but i'm putting up a small capsule small release this week i'm gonna put a coupon out for all my people on youtube where y'all can go in there and shop discount code probably like 30 percent off y'all gonna always get the biggest discount code the creative nation was made for youtube and for y'all to watch me build this brand from scratch off the ground so yeah that's what we're gonna do i'm gonna drop the site this week i'm updating my print shop site i'm gonna start selling so much more products and so many more services and i just got so much up my sleeves and so much game i want to share with y'all so that's what it is y'all ain't gonna talk too much i'm gonna get on up out of here get ready for this new release and if you got any questions y'all already know what it is hit me up comment all that follow my pages or whatever subscribe to the channel and i'm out